Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to read or display data using SQLite database. This is part 2 of notes app. In part 1, we have stored the notes in the SQLite database. So if you have not watched it yet, you can click on the i button to watch. Let me give you a quick recap what exactly we created in the last video. So I'll click on add note. Then I'll write title and content quickly. Now I'll click on save. And see the toast says note saved. But as you can see, it's not visible here because obviously we have not yet implemented display feature. Also, let me show you where exactly the note was saved. See, we have ID, title and content stored in the SQLite database. Now coming back to the project, previously to store the notes, we have created note data class, notes database helper and add note activity. And now to display the notes, we will be creating recycler view. And I assume that you are aware how recycler view works, right? We will create an item layout, then adapter, and then of course, SQL query to display all the nodes. Got it? Now let's create it. There is no prerequisite, so let's directly go to layouts. As I said, we will be implementing recycler view. So first, go to activity main.xml. In previous video, we had created a floating action button to add node. So on the top of that, we will create a notes heading text view and obviously a recycler view. So let me quickly create it. And done. See, here first we have a relative layout as a parent layout. Then inside it, a text view whose ID is notes heading. Then below that, a recycler view whose ID is notes recycler view. And that's it. This is how it looks. Now we have a recycler view. So obviously with that, we will require an item layout. So to create that, right click on layout folder, then new and then layout resource file. Write the name as note item. Choose card view. And OK. Here I'll be creating two text view. One is for title and another one is for content. Simple, right? So let me quickly create it and then see we have a card view, then inside it a linear layout and then again inside it a relative layout. Then inside this relative layout, we have a text view whose ID is title text view. This is where the title will be displayed. And then outside the relative layout, we have another text view whose ID is content text view. And that's it. This is how it looks. In my upcoming video, here we will implement edit and delete option as well. So stay tuned for that. Now layouts are done and now it's time for logic. First, we will implement a SQL query. And to do that, go to notes database helper. Here previously I have created all the constants as well as SQLite open helper and also insert note function. And now I'll create a new function called as get all nodes. So let me quickly write it.
and done. See, I have created a get all nodes function which extends the list of node data class. Then inside it, I have created an empty nodes list that is basically a mutable list, which means that can be modified or it's flexible. Because this node list will carry all the data, so the user will keep adding new nodes, right? Hence, it needs to be flexible. Then we don't need to modify, we just need to read the data. Hence, I have used readable data method. Then our main query. In SQL, to view entire table, we use a very simple query that goes like select star from the table name. Then to execute this query, we will use raw query method. And then it stores the result in a cursor variable. In simple words, a cursor is used to iterate through rows of the table. Then we have used while loop for the iteration purpose. So it goes like cursor dot move to next means go to next row. But why are we iterating through all the rows? Because we want to retrieve the data as per their index value. As we want to read the data, so we obviously need to retrieve it first and then using recycler view, we will display it, right? So cursor dot get int as it's an integer. Then inside it, get column index or row column ID. This line retrieves the value of column ID from the current row in the cursor. Similarly, next line in which title is retrieved from the column title and content is retrieved from the column content. When all the three data is retrieved successfully, then pass them as an argument and store it in a note variable. Then add this note in the notes list which we created before. Lastly, close the cursor as well as the database connection once it is used and then return the notes list. This notes list will act as a list which consists of all the retrieved data from the database. We will use this function in main activity, okay? And that's it. Now, as we are implementing recycler view, so obviously we will require an adapter. So right click on it, new, and then Kotlin class file. Write the name as notes adapter. Now over here, we will be creating a view holder, then recycler adapter, and then it's three method. Then lastly, a refresh data function, and that's it. So let's create it. First, I'll call the note data class in a list way format. So private where notes as list note. So basically, note data class stores the three data parameters, ID, title, and content. Then context, which represents the notes adapter. Now I'll extend the class as recycler view dot adapter as note adapter dot note view holder, which we have not created it yet. So first let me quickly create it. And then, see, we have node view holder with item view that extends the recycler view dot view holder. Then inside it, I have declared and initialized both the elements. Got it? So first is title text view and second is content text view. Once the view holder is created, then implement the three members. And then, see, we have onCreateViewHolder, onBindViewHolder, and getItemCount. 
So in on create, we set up the item layout view. Then in on bind, we set data on the element. And then in item count, we return the size. And that's it. Let's create it. So first in on create, let me quickly write it. And done. See, we have inflate note item layout using layout inflator. This is all syntax. Okay, so it goes like layout inflator dot from the parent context that is basically the notes adapter itself. And then inflate note item. Then root as parent. And then lastly attach to root as false. Now, all of this thing is present inside the view variable. So at the end, Return the view as an argument of node view builder. Then come inside the onbind view holder. Here we have holder and position as their parameters. So holder basically helps to set the data and position helps to determine which item was clicked. Okay. Now I'll write well node is equal to. So I want to determine the position of a data list which I have already declared at the top as nodes. Right? So simply we will mention it as nodes position. Then as I said holder helps to set data. So write holder dot title text view dot text is equal to as node dot title means whatever the title written by the user should be displayed in the title text view. Similarly Whatever the node content is written by the user, that should be displayed in the content text view. Got it? Then lastly, this is a quick way to write. So int is equal to notes.size. And that's it. One last thing over here is to create a refresh data function. See, the logic works like we have to keep refreshing or updating the list whenever a new node is inserted. Otherwise, it will display old data. So for that, I'll write fun function, refresh data, then passing the parameter as a new nodes, whose data type is list, and inside it, node data class. So old list, which is basically nodes, that will become as new nodes list. As it's a reloading process, so we will call notify data set change. Means to inform that, you know, something has changed in the data. And that's it. Finally, our adapter is created and now it's time to set up everything on the recycler view. So go to main activity. So in nodes database helper, we have created get all nodes function, right? So to access that function, we need to declare and initialize nodes database helper. So let me quickly write it. And done. Then obviously as we are setting up recycler view, so we will require nodes adapter as well. So let me quickly declare it. And done. Now we will set up adapter. So I'll write nodes adapter is equal to calling the nodes adapter class. And inside it, we need to mention list of all the nodes from the database and context. So I'll write db dot get all nodes function, which we created before, right? Then this as a context, simple, right? All of this thing is present inside the nodes adapter. Now let's set up recycler view. So I want my recycler view to be in a linear layout. If you want, you can go for maybe staggered layout or grid layout. But for now, I'll go for linear layout. Hence, I'll write binding dot notes recycler view this is our recycler view which we created before right dot layout manager as linear layout manager 
this. Then we need to set nodes adapter on the recycler view. So to do that, write binding dot nodes recycler view dot adapter, which is basically a set adapter method as nodes adapter. And that's it. Data is successfully set up on the recycler view with the help of adapter. Now, lastly, we need to set up refresh data method. See, previously we just said that new nodes will be refreshed. Yes, right. But we need to mention the data that needs to be refreshed, right? And data is nothing but get all nodes from the database, right? So, we can set all of this thing on a button. But it is very annoying to keep clicking that button to refresh. Instead, we will use on resume function. Hence, I'll write overwrite on resume function. On resume function of an app is like a in a state of running. So when the app is open means it is in on resume state. Then automatically it refresh the data. So to do that, first tell me where is refresh data function present. In notes adapter, right? So I first call notes adapter. Then refresh data method and then inside it obviously the data and where does that data come from database correct and that is basically a db and more specifically through get all nodes and that's it we are done with the coding now let's run the app look now we can see the node i created this node previously so let me quickly create a new node All right, I'll click on save. And look, instantly the list is refreshed and now we can see the new node. So the title we wrote is displayed in the title text view and the content that we wrote is displayed in the content text view. Cool, right? All right, so don't forget to watch the next video where I'll be updating the data in the database. And also for more updates, you can follow us on Instagram or join our Telegram group. Link in the description box. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.